God's word, faithfully preached, is his comprehensive equipment for changing lives, delivering them from the shackles of sin, the flesh, and the world, and transforming them into useful vessels through whom Jesus can pour out his blessings. Living Seed invites you to a feast of the truth as God's servant brings to us the word of life. Having laid the general foundation yesterday of the concept of fathering as we found it in scriptures, what we now need to search is what are the practical tips, what are the things that God will help us to uh, handle and operate in order for us to be able to effectively be a father, a father to our biological children, a father in our profession, a father in the Lord, a father in the community, as the Lord is raising several of us. Hallelujah. The first of these issues that we are going to be considering, that the father is a body bearer. The first tip we want to deal with is that the father is a burden bearer. And let's quickly re uh, go to that scripture. Numbers 11 verse 12. Are you already in Numbers 11 12? Have I conceived all these people? Have I begotten them that you should say unto me carry them in your bosom as a nursing father bears the suckling child unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers that was a complaint that Moses brought before God at a critical point in his ministry. And when you look at Deuteronomy 131, are you there also? And in the wilderness, where thou hast seen how that the Lord your God bear thee as a man doth bear his son in all the way that ye went until you came unto this place. Now there are two concepts that is coming out very quickly in those two verses. It was as if God was beginning to speak unto Moses about how to carry the children of Israel that he was leading. And he said, the Lord was telling him, uh, carry them where? Carry them where? Carry them in your bosom as a nursing father. Now let me ask you. Have you been familiar with a nursing father? In our ordinary language. Eh? <laughs> when he talks to nursing, whom do we attach nursing to? If they are nursing mothers. We don't talk of a nursing father. But now we are finding that there is a biblical concept called nursing father. One of the things that I'm discovering as we study is that there are several biblical concepts that the world system cannot understand. So out of disuse it has become obsolete to such a point that it is not common in our discussion you never you see a woman that is nursing a baby say I am a nursing mother am I right? Eh? in church 
we create room for nursing mothers. Do we create room for them? Eh? We say, all oh, nursing mothers, please sit here. When we want to enter the aeroplane, what is the priority that they normally give? Apart from the first class, the next priority, they said, all those that are having children, nursing mothers, let them get on board first. The world system recognizes the nursing mothers. But the concept of a nursing father is completely out of point. Strange. But now we are discovering that the Bible talks about a nursing father. So, what does that mean? That's what we are longing to see this morning. The mother, by design, is known and called a nursing mother if the child is still sucking the breasts. But here we find God defining for us what a father should be. A nursing father. And surely, this is not the matter of what? Of breastfeeding. The men and women God instructed Moses to bear in his bosom as a nursing father were not children at all. This points to a matter of fathering in the heart of God for us. Whereas Moses complained about this assignment, he did not argue with the responsibility if he actually did beget them. I don't know whether you understand. When you read that Bible verse, he wasn't arguing with the responsibility. What was he complaining about? Did I beget them? So, if it is proven that it was Moses that beget all of them, then it was a legitimate responsibility for whosoever begets children to be a nursing father. So, now, from that challenge, it then implies that whosoever begets children must also accept the responsibility of becoming what? A nursing father. Now, and if a nursing father, and I want you to now note, is not a matter of, of breastfeeding, it then means to me as if the ministry of a nursing mother, why she will be easily called a nursing mother, is limited to the first few years of the life of the child. But if the nursing father is not about breastfeeding, it dawns on me as if a nursing father's ministry Eh? transcends the early years. I noted that God was telling Moses, carry them in your bosom as a nursing father. And God was not talking about babies. 